Welcome back to the channel everybody. So today we're going to be working on my V8 MR2 some more, but today we're going to be turning our focus on the front of the vehicle where we'll be making some more aluminum duct work. I'll show you what I'm working with. Alright, so I've been in the process of making these new headlights for the front of this car. And in that process, changed the way the front air dam meets those headlights underneath the hood. I'll show you that now. Alright, so under the hood you can see in both corners we have this exposed triangle. Additionally, this air dam here was supposed to force the air through the radiator, which we can't have coming up through here. So we have to block this off completely and make space for the hood latch here. So we're going to come up with a cardboard template. All right, so third grade art class has come in handy again. As you can see, this is the template I come up with. It fills those gaps on either side, which is kind of what we needed. And we've made clearance for the hood latch in the center. So we're going to take this off and transfer to aluminum. Here it is with the rough cut. Let's go do a first fit, see how it lays in there. Alright, there we go. Now on the bead rolling and layout. Alright, I got my layouting done for the bead rolling we're going to do. Just try to keep it simple. And the center section I still have to cut out to access the hood latch. All right, and to make this edge, we're going to be using these Eastwood tipping dies. Gotten all my bead rolling done, come out pretty good. I do have some imperfections I'm gonna to have to work out later, unfortunately. Additionally, I have the hole cut through where my hood latch is gonna go, and I did it to where there's minimal extra hole to face through there. And to do that, I did have to modify the hood latch assembly a little bit. So this lever here used to come way out and up. Uh, it took up a ton of space, so now I lowered it to where I can now reach through underneath the hood where that air vent is and unlatch it that way. 
So now we can go back and test fit and make mounting holes for this to hit the vehicle. All right, to make things easy, we're just gonna use these factory old headlight mountings for the top ones. I have one here, I have one here, as well as the old radiator mounts, which we no longer use. So we have some nut certs in here, and here we're gonna just build off of those, make an L bracket. We're gonna be able to bolt through in four different locations. It should hold it down just fine. I hear those front brackets put together with some with a rev nut installed. Of course, it started out as a cardboard version. So we're gonna put these on the car. We should be able to bolt that baffle in there now. Next up, we're going to go and make a new one of these. It's a bracket to hold that fuse box in place. I've already added some dipple dies to it, but I decided we're going to make the whole thing out of aluminum just to go with everything else. Now that we've made it this far, we can press in our dimple dies. And just like that, we went from a steel copy to a cardboard template to our new aluminum version. Less than half the weight of that one. All right, so that was another fun metal project you can do in about a weekend. So I guess I owe you an explanation or a status update of where my garage is at. So it turns out I still have just a foundation out back. Once again, I'm having to chase down my contractor as you can also see, it's already covered in all kinds of smuts from the tree above. 
So, I'll give you a future update. I'm going to keep hammering him to see when he can come back out here and finish this. It's still under negotiations. So, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and join me for the next time, which is hopefully that garage getting built. Thank you. Thank you.